Face pain is to face it head on. After suffering through the humiliation of a humbling playoff defeat at the hands of Miami one year prior, Milwaukee came back better and stronger, single-minded in their focus. The Bucks emphatically avenged that loss to the Heat en route to the franchise's first title in 50 years. The long way has ended after a half century. The Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions once again. Five months has given the Heat plenty of time to consider their own sources of motivation. And the season opener provides ample opportunity to extract some measure of revenge. It's not a long season lesson. So we're a different team than we were last year. Like they was a different team when we played them in the bubble. And a chip will make a monster, like E.D. said all the time. And he's right. Payback is the only way back. Each season holds meaning, but some are simply more special. Anniversaries are the moments we allow ourselves to reflect and appreciate the accomplishments and progress of the game and its most storied participants. Ten seasons ago, Miami's grand collection of superstars delivered the franchise its second championship and the first for a head coach who has now earned his rightful recognition as one of the game's best. For the first time in a quarter century, the league will honor its past and present in an unprecedented celebration. A game that is amazed and entertained, captivated and compelled, and resiliently proud the champion for 74 seasons prepares now for its diamond dance to debut. What better way to celebrate than by inviting the reigning champs? The stage is set. The guests assembled. Let's start the show. And here is your Valley Sports Spotlight presented by Southwest. The legend Pat Riley is the focus of the spotlight tonight. The Heat president has been in the NBA for almost 55 years. Starting as a player in 1967, then as a head coach with the Showtime Lakers team. Eventually coming to Miami in 1995 where the Heat has won three NBA titles. I think one of the, the great keys to this team is the development of Bam and Tyler and Duncan, you know, and Max. You know, these guys in particular, uh, the guys that we brought, PJ Tucker and Markeith and Dwayne Dedman, you know, uh, even Gabe, it, it's going to take, you know, consistent uh, production night in and night out from these guys. And it ain't going to be on Jimmy and Kyle and Bam to score all the points. I, I think a lot of it might come from, from the other guys. Get you to your Lexus starting lineups. We not only show you how many starters for this opener tonight, but look at the depth that Riley was talking about right there. The balance. So many weapons, so many key players for Eric Spolzer to go to. But it will be Butler, Van Duncan, the newcomers, PJ Tucker and Kyle Lowry to start a short time ago to get this season started off right for the fans. Tyler Hill will have this message to the crowd inside the FTX Arena. On behalf of my teammates, coaches, the rest of the organization, we would just like to say thank you for your continued support. Uh, we're looking forward to this, this new season with you guys, and it's amazing to have you guys back in the arena. Let's get it. Cheers. All right, your Bucks slide up now. 